Now, Nevada has the highest COVID-19 transmission rate in the entire country. That's according to RT, which is a website made by one of the founders of Instagram. And due to the resurgence of cases here in Nevada, some major businesses have had to close their doors. 13 Action News anchor Nina Porshunkula joins us live now with how this may affect you. Nina. Well, right now, most of Bank of America branches are open, but there are several that have to temporarily close its doors because of those resurgence in cases. And one of those branches that had to temporarily close is this one on South Rainbow near Warm Springs here. And those doors had to be closed because of staffing shortages amid the pandemic. A representative for the company says they plan to reopen these locations as soon as possible. and It will have ATMs available at these on-site locations for customers to perform the most and needed transactions. In the meantime, four Apple stores here in Las Vegas are closing starting today, and that's according to Apple's website. There's also a note there saying that we look forward to resuming full operations as soon as it is safe to do so. And it also says stores are open for pickup for existing online orders and previously scheduled genius support appointments made through Friday. Now, these closures come on the heels of the U.S. breaking another record when it comes to new cases of the coronavirus. And for the first time since the pandemic began, Wednesday, we've seen more than 50,000 new cases in a single day. Now, as Ross mentioned, it also follows a report showing Nevada has the highest COVID-19 transmission rate in the country. A new website from the creators of Instagram showing Nevada has a 1.56 average transmission rate, meaning that one infected person on average will infect between one and two people. Medical experts say much of the protection against the virus may be left in the hands of each individual. All of us, including those who, of us who live in states that are not experiencing a lot of transmission, should be spending a little bit more time at home, uh, skipping mass gatherings, for example, wearing fabric face masks when going out into the community and doing a really great job of hand hygiene. Now, as we head into the July 4th weekend here, at least 22 states are pausing or rolling back their reopening plan, meaning possibly more businesses and including beaches could be closed this coming weekend across the country. Reporting live, Nina Bruchunkla 13, Action News.